What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dark Green Pooh, back again to watch Season 2, Episode 2 of Tower of God. All right, guys, before I get this started, I just wanted to say, um, I know last episode, uh, I wasn't, uh, I would say I wasn't really 100% in it because of the whole drastic animation change. And one of you guys in the comments mentioned that, um, yeah, they did, it was very drastically changed in the anime. And uh, it just seems like a regular anime now. And uh, I don't know, it just really helped confirm my feelings i thought it was just i thought it might have been tripping out like is it supposed to be like this i went to the, i went to last season after the video i was just like yeah man it's so different um but yeah so thank you guys for letting me know that the animation is just completely different and i don't know it's just like a weird shift for me because i really like the animation in season one so having it like this it threw me off like and i didn't watch any like trailers or anything for the season i just knew it was coming out so when they showed me this i'm like what the heck um but yeah uh just want to say that this will probably be like a growing process for me in terms of enjoying the animation and stuff but i'm gonna put that i'm gonna put that to the side in my mind and i'm just gonna enjoy the story and just take in tower of god anyways yeah i just want to get that out the way and i just felt like i was complaining about the animation a lot last episode and I don't really want to do that, man. I don't want to be complaining all of the time. Who wants to hear that, right? <laughs> I was just speaking my mind. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to tone that down. So my bad if that was annoying for some of you guys. But yeah, and also thank you guys for confirming that, yeah, the animation is just crazy. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get this started, yo. I'll give you guys the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, flashback. Okay, Rachel, I do not want to hear you. Yes. Love the star. I love the star. I love the star so much. Okay. Yeah, you laugh, right? He makes a wish now. Good. Is that the sun? <laughs> Are you going to the sun? Crazy. Whoa, she reacted a different way to that. Maybe it was her dad? Or like someone she knew? Because maybe she's feeling guilty? Maybe he's still up there. Let's see this, guys. Also, guys, before... I... Wait. <laughs> yeah. He's not obviously he's smart. Yo, bam, yo. When, we, when I found out after, like, towards the end of the episode, that was Bam. It's funny because, um, I think I chocolate in here. <laughs> um, like, I knew that Bam had long hair, like, at the end of the first season. It kind of showed him, right? Sitting on top of the tower. Candy my ass. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it just didn't click when I saw the, uh, when I saw Bam in person, like, in character. This guy's asking for some. The thing is, Bam isn't a bad guy, so I don't expect any like scary things to happen. Yeah, like <laughs> we know Bam. Guys, chill. He is all alone. Attacked him. Did he attack him? I forgot who attacked first. <laughs> Must have been lonely. Okay. She reacted weird to it though. Maybe it's her. Maybe she's been lonely. Yoda? Yoda? Uh, guys, uh, well, while I was watching that, there was, like, the anime, the first, like, animation of Rachel just looking up, I thought her head was, 
like super big, right? Like just the proportions. Uh, yeah, she her head looks so big compared to her body when she was like reaching up like this, and it just threw me off. I, sorry, guys. I still I'm still talking about the animation. Sorry, it's just um, I don't know when it was. Maybe maybe like two three years ago. Oh no no, I remember exactly the scene. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm not gonna spoil anything for. But there was uh, I was watching Black Clover at the time, right? And I had Instagram and um there was a scene uh or on instagram they had this one video of of like how the animators drew like this one fight and like it developed from drawings to like actually animating it and then i was watching that i'm like whoa i'm i think that's really cool like the the process uh, like at first it showed like the circles right uh to signify the body then it fills in right like slowly and then it just showed like the whole animation and whatever animation it was i'm not gonna spoil that <laughs> but it showed it and i was like oh that's really cool how like the little intricate like time they put into the animation so then after that i watched that episode that i had it right and i was just taking it all in taking in the animation and then ever since that day i have been more appreciative of animations i didn't really watch the animation back in the day But yeah, now I'm, it's like I'm hyper aware of it now. Anyways. That's the last thing about animation I'm going to talk about. <laughs> oh, one last thing. The fight from last episode, I think it was good. So anyways, that's it. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was like, who's that? She said, Yeon. Yeon family? Oh, so it's like one of the. Okay. Like that one girl that gave Bam the sword. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? I remember him. Kim Lurker. Yeah, I was just gonna say, like, isn't he trying to get money off of him? <laughs> yeah. Durr, what a dumb question. Ah, so he's not there for him. Money lender. <laughs> Which one? Hmm. His dad's power. Oh, can't wait till we see the other characters from before, man. Like, where's Kuhn, man? Okay, so he's a Shishong. Kuhn, right? Kuhn Aguero. He beat hats. Kuhn Aguero is a... The devil of the right arm. He's a soccer player. Or football. Or Argentina. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he was one of them. Well, yeah, she's there now. Ooh, so he needs to... Okay. Just let me fix my posture. Oh, brother, you haven't met Bam yet, bro. Well, that's fine. 
Bam heard all of that. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. I'm chilling. As long as we have the MC with us, the main character, I'm cool, man. Proctor Love. It's just fixing my chair here. Okay. Zero points. It's kind of like a physical strength. Okay, so it's just a uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like legit, it's just testing how much you got. Yo, oh, he has zero. I cannot wait. Yo, show me Bam. Is he gonna be first? Yeah, <laughs> it's Wang Nan. <laughs> He's first, of course he is. I wonder how much. What did he get? Shit, so he didn't make it. <laughs> Bruh, please don't kill me. Yo, 10? It's not bad, right? Well, I guess compared to everybody else. Uh, they're trying to just give her away. Dog. Yo, I want to see this. I want to see this. Ooh, yeah, freaking cocky little shit. Oh, yeah, give him the power buff. What is this? Number one, 6.3k. Kang Horyang. There you go. I wish it, they made it a bit more, like, cooler. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he switched the thing and it, the thing went up. But like, make it cool, yo! Like, poof. Okay, here we go. Remember, he's the right arm of whatever. I forgot what the title was. Dog, he doubled him, Rob Devil. But nah, man. You are. Uh... But I think he's holding back. I see how it goes, yeah. Let's see. I'm excited. Did you miss? I guess she doesn't really have like physical capabilities. Just just from hitting her head on it Woo! let's go little bitch i'm talking to this purple hair guy he's been so annoying he's been pissing me off <laughs> he's gonna go off though i feel like he's gonna go off Ooh! off daddy's money what's his what is it okay first off First off, I don't know how hard how hard he tried, but she tripped, bro. Where's Bam? 
She's gonna join back. Oh, oh, he's getting cocky though. I'm down. Are they gonna keep climbing like on top? Ooh! Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited. See, that's the thing. Like, animation, yes. All right. It hurts. But, like, story wise, I'm down, yo. Let's go, bam. Let's go, baby. He's just holding that shit. Oh! <coughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fog. Fog you. No, I'm just kidding. Ooh! Ooh! He's not even trying, though. Right? Viol? <laughs> Please. Oh, so he gets to choose. So it's not the top. Ah. Yeah, get this kid out of here, bro. Tired of his ass. Oh! Wagner is joining for sure. Yeah, stupid kid, bro. Piss me off. I'll take you. I think he's gonna take everybody from the first round. Maybe Yi Yan, the girl. He's got spunk. Yo, he's got ambition. I'm down for Wagnon to join. Even though he's weak. Uh, uh, Kuna has got to be up, up there. Somewhere up in the tower. And Rack. He's not going to choose the kid, right? I think he I think he's gonna choose the people that are desperate to go up. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. What was his? I don't remember his. I don't know, man. This guy this this guy's a scum. Yeah, I was just gonna say, this guy's a scum. Yeah, I agree. Where? Huh. Interesting, you have some backstory. Nice. She gave you chocolate. Bam, bro. You gotta choose everybody. It's not really one choice. Like, get away from my best. That girl's actually my daughter. Don't kill me. Well, she's she's his now. It was top. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> and that's your opinion. Exactly. Exactly. Then. Oh, clumsy. Or maybe she has a twin. That's why she's like, that wasn't me. Okay, never mind. Bam is just a sav. Ooh. 
But he has to, right? He has to choose? Okay, yeah, he has to. All right. Dog. Fake. Oh, oh. Dog. He will destroy you. Yeah, Yeon family cannot. Interesting. He's going to test him. He, he's going to lose. Bam has to lose and take Wagnon here. But what is the game? Interesting. Yo, Bam ain't playing games, bro. If you're not strong enough, you're not coming. That kid only had 25k. He had 100k and he didn't even try. 120k, I think. All these scrubs are weak compared to Bam. Dunk. He has a mission, man. He has a mission. I think, like, he's just... Haha, <laughs> nice. I have a I have like some thoughts. I hope I don't forget at the end of this episode. What? <laughs> She's stronger though. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> the rubing he he wants to kill Jihad, right? Nope. Not a girl. Could be it. Somebody also had your dream, yo. He's go. He goes to the guys. Bam is so different from last season, yeah. Press of Jod. Music, man. If you associate yourself with Jihad, you might die. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Interesting. See, uh, okay, let me just. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, my thoughts. Um, one one thought that I have is that um, I kind of um. Okay, I'm just gonna bring it here. Sorry, guys. Give me a sec. Let me just get my thumbnail. I don't know if that's the thumbnail. The thummy. I just want to say, like, since, um, one thing is that, you know, the tower, the tower is made from Jihad, right? Or uh, something like that, or, like, they, they're, like, they rule the tower? Maybe Jihad was the guy that built the tower itself. Um, but it's cool, like, even though these guys are, like, committed to Jihad and they know he's, like, FUG or FUG member, um, they still play fair. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, he's a FUG member. We're going to kill him on the spot type of thing. It's just like, well, 
your your regular and you're trying to climb the tower all is fair right like it doesn't matter what our previous um not really previous but our inner things i mean now this guy whoever this test guy is i forgot his name but he he wants to take him out right fug right? through this game or whatever they're gonna plan um so yeah you can see it there but in terms of like the base rules like all is fair it doesn't matter what kind of, like what your association is with even with people even with the yeon family right like that's a high class uh, it's one of the 10 families you're climbing like everybody else right you're you're not given any special treatment you're climbing like everybody else the one thing i wanted to mention that i didn't want to forget is that um is bam's motive so for me in my opinion um at least from what i've been watching uh and, and it's episode two right like how would i know uh but for me the reason why i think the reason why bam now wants to climb the tower so much and destroy jihad i i think you know that's just what i've been gathering is that i feel like um i think bam feels like rachel has lost herself because of the greed that the tower provides right so i think that's that's what it is um because it's just like yeah i want to climb the tower so bad i'm willing to you know betray bam right even though they had such a good time together right when he when he first grew, because that's i don't want to say that that's his mom right but that's like someone cool he's known her since he was like remember since he can remember right um and yeah i just feel like he maybe he he does feel betrayed but he doesn't feel betrayed by rachel she feel he feels betrayed because yeah rachel just has an ambition to climb and he wants to get rid of jihad to get rid of the tower so that you know rachel can be herself and not be uh lost in in greed of whatever the wish might be whatever her main wish might be because i don't think she told him uh but yeah i don't know that's just my theory of uh how or about why he wants to take out jihad uh i wonder how he got there right he he has a different name i have viol whatever his name is he has a different name um but he's still bam in my heart <laughs> uh what else um what else did i want to take away from this i know there was one more thing oh i want to say that uh i i feel like maybe i mean again this is only two episodes but i just feel like the first two episodes in season one i just felt like there was more tlc if you get what i'm saying there's more tender love and care put into that i just feel like the like the vibe was better in season one it was more it was a lot of mystery it was a lot of you know like what's happening trying to figure things out right but i feel like in this season yeah we're still trying to do that because like we just got jumped we just got time skipped right we just jumped here but i just feel like it's very like comedic uh compared to the first season um not that it, not that it's a bad thing like in general but i'm just saying like uh it, it's just a different like vibe switch that i have to it's a, there's a lot of different things that i have to like switch off and like switch on just like between these two seasons like that, that those are the main two things that i can that i can um say that have really impacted the way that i i saw tower of god uh one obviously you guys already know is the animation uh the animation is completely different um and two i just feel like the vibes or like the music is off or like the sound i don't know what it is the sound effects i don't know what it is i just feel like season one was more of an eerie vibe and like what's going on and like like we're not really safe because we we've been betrayed in season one as well right but here in season two like especially with wagnon i just feel like it's a it's very it's just like a lot of comedic relief it's it's uh i'm i would say like the seriousness that i'm taking this story uh, like the story up until this point the seriousness is not as serious as i was taking season one 
um and i then again maybe like later down later down the season like it'll turn more serious right i mean first two episodes they're just trying to get their old their old audience back and trying to get them into the vibes and the feels right but it's just i don't know it's just completely different than uh how i felt in season one and uh I love season one, <laughs> right? Like I've waited for season two for so long, um, but yeah, it's just I don't know. The vibes are just off for me in terms of like what type of anime Tower of God is. Um, is it more funny now? Is it more like mysterious? Is it, are we still like what is it? Right. So that, that's the only. Those are my only takeaways. Um, I'm still. I mean, I still like the story. The story is really good. I like. I liked how you know test of strength. That was kind of like the uh, the Dragon Ball Z. Um, tournaments i mean I, I didn't want to spoil anything but come on if you guys haven't seen dragon ball z by now uh and it's not even a big spoiler but they also had this um they also had this type of thing where they had to punch the the thing right to to show the strength so very similar in that aspect and i'm also interested in this game and what's going to happen bam versus the coordinator i forgot what they're called um but like who wins this because in my opinion before i end this reaction in my opinion i think the coordinator wins this and i think and i feel like bam is going to be forced to take people because there's no way we can't leave wagnan there uh wagnan he well it looks like he's the main character for season two <laughs> or like he's gonna be a big part of season two so i think he's gonna join the squad and the girl from yeon uh i think she's also joining but um yeah i just feel like they're um yeah i i like that that whole aspect i i think that bam is gonna lose because from season or from episode one right we kind of showed that bam is the strongest right but i don't think that we he can continue to be the strongest like he has to be put in his place he has to be humbled a little bit right so i think that uh this game whatever this game is going to be is going to be the humbling moment for bam anyways guys yeah uh cool episode uh pretty decent i can't wait to see Ku uh kun aguero again k-h-u-n kun <laughs> aguero and um and rock uh and they if i if i remember the end of season one when rachel was telling her bs story about how bam got eaten aguero did not he was not down for that story he knows that something is up and i'm pretty sure rack like those the big three bam rack and aguero kun aguero they they know what's good man rachel rachel's a snake uh at least right now and she knows a little bit too much about this tower right and the way that she reacted when bam said don't you think it was lonely right there something happened there something happened uh, like the music just dips right wait can i see this again been scary and lonely see right and then like 56 like you could hear it like like it's it gives that eerie vibe and that is the vibe that i am that i was kind of expecting for tower of god like that like it's kind of like eerie right this is the vibe i'm looking for for this anime um the animation not so much <laughs> we know that but this is the type of vibe that i was kind of trying to get from uh tower of god which is the vibe i like but not to say that comedic relief isn't isn't great and all that but i just feel like no maybe it's just this episode but i just feel like maybe it's a little too much for now right i'm hoping that maybe they'll get more of that eerie vibe uh towards the end of the season or later in the season anyways guys i've been talking way too much 34 minute video uh i just want to yeah just mention all my concerns or and mention all the good stuff too anyways this is the end of the reaction if you like this reaction don't forget to like comment subscribe if you're new really help our community grow and hit that notification bell button so you're notified whenever i upload oh my gosh guys i don't know where you guys are living um <laughs> but in canada right now it is so hot man i think it might like be north america like we're going through like a heat wave or something because i have a friend in california and even in cali man it's like 90 something which is like 40 degrees celsius 42 or something like that like here we're only getting like a 20 29 celsius but like no wind chill right so it's humid as hell right but in cali i can only imagine yo holy so you know what guys if you guys are dealing with this heat wave too your prayers up
Hope you guys are staying cool. No, nobody's getting dehydrated out there. Let's all survive this heat wave. It's so hot. <laughs> Surprised I'm not sweating. Anyways, it's been your boy Dark Green Poo. And I'm out this bitch. Later.